Hi, this week I'm going to make this huge queen size bed which is 6 feet in length and 5 feet wide. The bed looks floating at first. That's because the legs are inset inside with this unique curved design. The sides are raised by 3 inches so when I drop the mattress inside, it does not move around. I upload woodworking and electronics videos every week, so subscribe if you haven't. So let me show you how I did this bed. The length of the bed legs need to be just 6 feet, so I am cutting out the excess. Then I split the plywood into two equal halves. This will give me the two pieces of the leg that I want. I calculated that for a bed, the perfect height is 18 inches from the ground. This is almost 2 feet, so I will cut this later to size. To make the unique shape of the leg, I need to first draw an arc. I measure 1 inch from the corner and drive in a screw. I need about 5 inches on the top of the leg to screw into the sides of the bed. So I transfer that measurement to the plywood. I used plywood because unlike thread, this does not have elastic properties. I drill a hole to drop the pencil. Then screw the plywood on one end and then draw my arc. I cut using a jigsaw very close to the line. The better the cut, the less sanding I have to do. I take my time in sanding the arc very well because in the later step I will have to rely on its precision. Behind the camera I had cut the arc on the second leg too, but not so precise. I line up both the legs and drive in a screw to keep them from moving for the next step. Then using the router with a flush trim bit and the first leg that I sanded good as the template, I clean the arc that I cut on the second leg. This is the best method to follow if you need to replicate the same shapes. Now I start ripping some strips that go between the bed legs. This will take the weight of the mattress. I lay the strips in front of the leg and measure the average spacing. Then using a calculator I mark equal gaps on the entire length of the leg. Using a square I extend the mark and color where I have to make the cut. Then using a jigsaw I first make the corner cuts and then turn the jigsaw to finish the entire cut. I do a test fit to see if the cross pieces fit. If it doesn't then I use the file to clean it until it fits. Now I want to screw the strips to the leg. So to make equal distance I measure 1 feet and mark on all the strips. Then to find the center I use a scrap piece to mark lines on the plywood. I align the strips to this mark, drill and attach it. I repeat the same for all the 9 strips. On the other side I just find the center and then screw in to attach the strips. Now the basic shape is ready but the legs are still shaky. I cut a 2x2 two two inch hardwood to add it between the legs. Then I measured equal distance from the corner of the leg to find the center where I can attach the hardwood. I had already attached the L brackets to the wood. Now I can secure this L bracket to the leg of the bed. I repeated the same for the other leg too. This gave enough strength for both the legs. I cut some plywood for the sides and then trimmed it to size on my crosscut sled. I cut some larger pieces of pine to create the edge braces with which I can attach the sides. I square it off on the table saw to make all the sides equal. Two pair of screws will go through each block at right angles. So in order for them to clear each other, I mark and drill holes. Then measure how long the screw has to go in and create inset using Forstner bit. After that, I repeat the markings on all the blocks. The first block gets drilled and screwed into one of the leg. On one of the side, I mark where I have to attach and then screw the side to the block. I did the same for the other leg too so that I can concentrate on attaching the longer sides. For the longer sides, I repeated the same step. 
but I attach the pine block to this side now and then screwed in the longer side to it. After all the sides are ready, I turn the bed upside down and add some more plywood on which the crosswood strips can rest. You can see how the cross strips rest on the side plywood. I added a middle piece to stop the cross pieces from bending. And here you can see the blocks holding the two sides. I wanted to use laminates on the plywood, so I marked first with a marker and then scored in using a laminate knife. Then it's easy to break along the scored lines. To get a clean cut, score the laminate at the same place again and again until you feel it's smooth. Then set a straight edge on one side and lift the cut piece with a bit of force. With this method you are sure to get a clean cut every time. I use 3mm tape to stick the laminate. After cleaning the plywood, remember to apply the tape on all the edges. This will avoid tear outs of the laminate. Then remove the protective film and stick the laminate. You will get just one shot at this. To cut along the router arc, I used a Dremel tool. Then I trimmed the rest of the edges with a router. To stick the laminate to the sides, I used 3M spray adhesive. You have to be quick when you work with it. At one side, I added some colored wood to give some design. For the end piece, I mark where I have to trim and then stick the cut piece. After you spray the adhesive, dry it out for 30 seconds before you stick. Quick tip, please use plastic sheet to protect your floor. And then use a cloth to push out the air bubbles. I always cut the laminate a bit oversized so I can trim using the router later. To cover up the edges, I used edge banding. I stuck it with Fevicol quick set glue. After applying this glue too, you have to wait 30 seconds before you stick the edge banding. At the corners, I just bent this edge banding. Then cut and continued with the rest. You might think if you're sitting at the corner of the bed and chit-chatting with your friends, the bed is going to tip over. No, it's really strong and it's a really good build. If you put mattress on the top and add more weight, it's not even going to shake. This build is a strong one. There are tons of DIY bed making videos out there. But what makes this project different is the build is very simple. You saw me use a lot of tools in this project, but this build can be done with very limited tools. A circular saw, a cordless drill and a jigsaw. With just these three tools, you can build this. If you're a beginner and wanted to build a bed for yourself, then this is something that you can try. To complete the bed build, buy a 6mm plywood of the bed size 6x5 and put it on the strips so that you can even out the weight. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm working on right now and like me on Facebook to see some behind the scene videos. Here are some videos that might interest you. Until next time, happy learning.